Welcome back to my Noob to Pro series, folks. If you are new to this series, this commentary has been added post-recording, and here, I'm documenting my journey from an absolute beginner to an experienced player. Currently, there are two tech trees which I'm grinding, the Israel tech tree with the Kfir Canard, and the USA tech tree with the F20A. If this is your first video, I highly encourage you to start from video number one. I share all of my mistakes and lessons learned in each video. And since video number 9, I introduce the plane cards where I give a short description on a plane I battle against in the current battle rank. As always, if you have any tips or suggestions on how I could approve my gameplay or this series, please share them in the comments below. As my returning viewers can tell, this video was recorded a few days ago, and it still features the outdated on-screen keyboard which was replaced in the last episode. I pushed off the upload of this video to instead upload the video featuring the F-20A Tiger Shark. I've been enjoying the top tier battle rank so much, folks. The high speed chases and evasions are really something else. Which is your preferred battle rank, by the way? Is there something you'd want me to cover? After the USA and the Israel grinds, I'll probably be grinding through Japan's tech tree but please let me know in the comments below if you would prefer to see a different nation instead. I'm considering to play through Japan since I heard that their planes are very agile when it comes to dogfights, and this is something I really want to improve on. That upcoming series will be a bit different, however. I will be starting from the very beginning, and plan to advance to a different battle rank once I cover all the possible planes which appear there with the plane cards. So this series will be a very good opportunity to slowly learn about each and every plane bit by bit. I think going back to the basics, and the slower gameplay after playing top tier for a while will be refreshing, though possibly a bit annoying. I'm sure I will greatly miss the speed of the F-20A. Even when I play with the Kfir Canard, it's still very noticeable, even though the Kfir Canard is also a fast plane. It just doesn't come close to the F-20A. There was a comment left on my F-20A video where the viewer had an impression that I'm not being transparent about my skill and that I'm actually a veteran player masking myself as a newbie. I gotta admit, I take this as a compliment. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm in fact a new player and started this series since the beginning of March this year. I do have experience in playing other games, so maybe that's why I give off this impression. The viewer was also under the impression that the F-20A video was an ad, so I have to clarify that I was paid in no way to make that video. I'm just a newbie which enjoyed the plane a lot and wanted to make a video on it, that's all. Regarding the comment about sounding like a robot, this is because this voice commentary is AI generated. I come from a country in the Balkans of Europe and have a very thick accent which I think that I would have to subtitle for it to be understandable. So I figured the best way to move forward is to generate an AI speech for my commentary to make it easier on the viewers. I'm mostly used to reading and writing and haven't gotten a lot of practice of speaking English, so you can imagine what my accent would sound like. I did have in mind to start my videos with my actual voice recording to practice it a bit more, but I figured the commentary would sound unprofessional and it would take a bit of time for me to get used to voice recordings. So please let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in me continuing this series with my actual voice recording.
In today's playing card, we will be covering the SU-22M3. The SU-22M3 is a squadron plane and is an export variant of the Su-17 strike aircraft developed by the Soviet Union. Despite its long wingspan and massive profile, the Su-22M3 is pretty responsive and has significant maneuverability for a plane of its profile. Thanks to the variable wing swept, it can move its center of mass and thus increase or decrease its roll rate. While it is not meant to do so, the Su-22M3 is a pretty good turn fighter compared to other jet fighters. The Su-22M3 is vulnerable to any anti-air weapon, from anti-air cannons to missiles. However, the speed it can reach and the standoff weapons make it a very versatile aircraft, reducing the attack window and awareness of enemy anti-air systems. This should be the main armor to use in combat. However, the small amount of countermeasures makes it one of the most vulnerable high-ranked jets in-game, with only 12 countermeasures. These are large caliber countermeasures, meaning they are more effective than the standard countermeasures seen in other aircraft. It's armed with two 30mm NR-30 cannons and can equip two additional 23mm GSH-23L cannons at the expense of equipping the cannons on the R-60 slots and losing up to four out of the six available R-60 missiles. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.